I want to thank everybody who participated in the first Makerspace challenge of the summer to make a loaded dice. There were a lot of really cool entries, but when we took them and rolled them through a dice tower to see which side comes up most often, the results were oftentimes very surprising. For instance, this 3D printed dice, the goal was to make the sides fuzzy, uh, var varied and wiggled so that the top and bottom were flat, and that one didn't seem to have any bias. So there was an effort put to put some metal on the inside here. Solder was used to try and weigh this down on one side, but that also didn't go to the expected side. When I tested it, it rolled more to the five than to the six. So I guess the upshot of trying to make a loaded dice is that it's very difficult to make a dice that's actually loaded that will go to the side that you want it to. Attempts at weighing it and things like that didn't seem to have very much effect. Now, if you still have ideas on how to make this work, it's still a fun project to try out, but it is time for our second summer challenge here at the Makerspace. I've been inspired recently by a YouTube channel called Grandad is an Old Man. The man in this channel likes to take junk and things that he finds at the thrift store and junk paper and pizza boxes and make cool projects out of them. And one project that he's been making recently that I think is really cool is a, a airplane made out of a pizza box, but he's also at the same time been making modifications to those little balsa wood folding airplanes that you can get everywhere to try and make them fly better. So I'm gonna leave it open. Your second challenge for the summer here at the Makerspace is make something that flies. Now, sure, you could get away with just making a paper airplane or an army of little paper helicopters to try and fulfill this, but I want you to challenge yourself. Maybe make it out of something that you've never used before, or maybe make it out of something that you've never thought would fly. You could, you could potentially try 3D printing an airplane and see how that works out. You could potentially try to make it out of a pizza box like Granddad is an old man, or you could add a motor to it. We've got rubber bands here at the Makerspace and you could try to make a powered flight with rubber bands. Or you could take some nice balsa wood and put it in the laser cutter and design your own airplane out of balsa wood in the laser cutter. Why isn't anybody doing this? Why am I not doing this? Whatever you decide to do, the goal is flight in this second challenge of the summer. I hope to see you at the Makerspace. I hope that you come up with something cool and I can't wait to see what you do.